All right, so, move that hair. So, Brian again from Black Ops Toys. Wanted to do a quick uh, build on this LVOA from General Sam's Armory, um, and easy and simple. So I'm just gonna show you a couple different ways to put it together. Uh, I am going to use uh, my favorite thing, uh, glue dots, just in case you don't know about them. They look like that. And they're just little round pieces of like rubber cement. Uh, the good thing about this is it helps stuff stick on, but you can remove it. So it's not like super glue. Um, so I use these quite often, including on fabric and clothing and gear and pouches and, and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a couple pieces right down the middle. You can see the circles right here. That should give me the correct size for doing stuff with the rifle. Now you can see. Oh, let me see. It's just plastic film over the top, but you can see that they look like little half moons now. So I'll show you those in just a second. So, first way I'm going to set this up, I'm just going to insert the magazine. Pretty standard fare. Be careful, don't grab it here, because you're gonna, this is actually built like the real thing. Um, so you can actually pull the pins out and uh, this whole upper receiver comes off. But don't, when you put the magazine in, don't pull like that, because you'll snap it right here. So you wanna grab from here and just practice, just kind of smooth it in. Anyway, so that's that. Next, I'm gonna do the iron sights. So these are flip up sights. Um, I'm gonna put the red dot on, but first I'm gonna go for the rear flip up iron sight. I'm just gonna go from the front. The good thing about these rifles is this stuff goes on pretty smooth. So you see I'm able to push it back just with my finger. Um, get back here, flip it up, flip it down. Again, you want it just, it's kind of personal preference, but typically that's where I run mine. Next, I'm gonna put on the red dot. Now this is a tiny bit loose. I've already fitted this and that's why I'm gonna use the glue dot, but it's gonna go about right here. I'm just gonna grab one of these guys and use tweezers. And I'm just gonna rip it off real quick. Think about it like manscaping with wax. And that's how fast you wanna pull. I have no idea why I just said that. All right, so can see I'm literally just gonna lay it. It is stretchy. I'm just gonna lay it right there. And I'm just gonna pop this on right where I want it. And bam, no fuss, no muss. I'm gonna work it down a little bit. All right, so. That looks straight. I'm gonna go in for straight. So next we're gonna put on the front, front iron sight. Pretty simple. Again, just flip up. So the reason that we put these on is just in case we run out of batteries or our red dot breaks, we can pull it off and then we can use iron sights. So comes with a couple different variations of handles. So this is a forward grip. Um, or you can have a hand stop. So it's kind of personal preference, uh, even on the grip. So you can see it's ergonomically going that way. Some people like to run it uh, that way and actually pull on it. So uh, kind of personal preference on how you want to do that. And it does come with these rails. And the rails are there so you can attach these parts. You can see how just easily they slide on right there. So I'm going to use a little glue dot and I'm just going to put on what I want to put on here and then I'm going to mount it to the rifle. So, same thing. Now you can even go smaller. I'm going to do a smaller one than the half moon and go with a quarter moon. That's it. Looks like a little booger, but it's not. Stick, pull off, it's just a little tiny dot. Now, again, it depends on how you want it. So I'm actually gonna put it ergonomic. I'm 
Now, you can see that that doesn't move. Okay. These right here fit in the holes right there. Piece of cake. Next, I'm going to put on this light with a pressure switch. Pressure switch again, this is what you hit to turn the light on or off. I'm going to be using a smaller rail. So same type of deal. I'm going to go with the quarter moon. Let's see. Oh, I must be getting old. I can hardly see this. All right, there we go. And I'm just going to go like that. So barely see it. I slide the rail on just like that. I'm going to put it right about there. Now we have the pressure switch, but you can see the light is on. Pretty straight. I just press down with my tweezers. Good. So now I'm going to wrap this around. And again, personal preference where you want it. Let's go the other way. Let's go over the top. And I'm going to bring that right here. And uh, you can do a couple different things. I'm going to use a bigger uh, slice of the glue dot for right now, which is the half moon. And you can get glue dots in all different shapes. Um, but just for quick purposes, I'm going to throw it right there. I'm going to bring this up. Now this does come with sticky uh, on the back of it. You just have to remove that. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use a glue dot for right now. Bam. And that is one variation. Next variation, uh, we can do a hand stop. Again, we're just going to pop this off now. I'm going to do the same thing. Get one of my glue dots. Use some sharp scissors. Uh, that's definitely helpful. Bam. I make this look easy. Uh, that's because I've been doing it for, you know, well over f five or six minutes. All right, I'm just going to slide this guy on. Bam. Put that guy on, just pops in. So a couple different versions, a couple of different ways to do it. Uh, next, I'm just going to attach the uh, sling. So here's your sling mount. You can do it right or left. So I'm going to do it for a right-handed shooter. I'm just going to take that. You can see it's a little clamp. And I'm literally just going to put it right... Just click it on. Okay, there we go. Now... I'm just going to take my figure, what's up dude, and put this on, terrible pose so I'm actually gonna go up front like that BAM all put together what do you think smash that subscribe button below or ring that bell to be notified of new content like this guy